And right now, uh, everyone in Washington and really a lot of people around this country are hotly anticipating this unclassified government report on aerial phenomenon witnessed by Navy pilots. It's expected to be delivered uh, to the Senate intelligence community by the director of national intelligence, uh, hopefully by June 25th. The New York Times reported that senior administration officials who were briefed on the finding said that the unusual movements witnessed uh, by pilots did not originate from American military or advanced U.S. government technology. But that's really about the only conclusive finding that uh, has been so far teased from the report. What do you think the likelihood is that aerial phenomenon are actually, actually extraterrestrial spacecraft? Well, Jackie, that, that's really the question, isn't it? Uh, the bottom line is up, up until very recently, there are really only, only three possibilities of what this could be. And the first possibility is that it is some sort of secret U.S. tech that somehow uh, we have managed to keep secret even from ourselves for, for a long period of time. The second option is that it's some sort of foreign adversarial technology that has somehow managed to technologically leapfrog ahead of our country, uh, despite having a, a fairly robust and comprehensive in, in intelligence apparatus. And of course, the, the third option is, is something quite entirely different. It's, it's, a, it's a different paradigm completely. Now, as of this week, we now know through some of the discussions at senior level leadership that uh, this, this report has definitively stated once and for all that it's not our technology. Uh, and that's that's hugely important. For 30 years, there has always been this undercurrent, if you will, these conspiracies that there was some sort of TR3B program and some sort of, yeah. uh, of super special technology that has been implemented. And we've been uh, just been very careless about it. And I think that argument was finally put to bed this week. Uh, so that really only leaves two other options. And that's, again, it's foreign adversarial or it's 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 something quite different. And I think we're now beginning to learn, as we've heard from the director of national intelligence, and I can certainly tell you from my experience, that we're pretty confident that it's not Russian or, or Chinese technology. And there's several reasons for that that, if you like, I'm, I'm more than happy to go into.